Hi, Jeffrey. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Hi. Yeah. So, Jeffrey knows that I'm going to be headed out today. It's a big day. There's an event that's going on in the downtown area. It's not far away from where I live, um, but I can't get there on my own. So sometimes I'm amazed at how difficult doing things can be sometimes. So today is a big test. It's um, I'm getting a ride with the family of the person that's organizing the event which means I'll be there before the event starts and I'm not expecting to leave until after the event is over. It is a nice day out, so I'm going to have layers. I've got a little storage space in the, um, under here is a seat that lifts up and there's a little bit of storage space. I'm also going to have a backpack. Fragrances are a big concern, sometimes even in public and wide open space, somebody walks by with too much perfume or cologne or they're smoking it can trigger the reactive airway response. I'm hoping that because this is a wide open space um, that I can move myself to where there may be less people, which is harder for me to socialize, um, but I also don't want to be stuck with that mask on all day. I'm looking forward to the day, I'm looking forward to continuing in an area of my passion, which is social policy, public policy, um, advocacy, activism, these are um, things that I don't want to have to give up and I've had to give up a lot. So with that, let's see what the day brings. I make it look good. Okay, so I just came from uh, Spot Coffee around the corner. I'm actually trying to uh, roll with my mocha. Um, and uh, do this at the same time. The sidewalk is a little, little treacherous, <laughs> but doable. I didn't record inside because they had music playing and I didn't want to get a, um, a strike for um, copyright music. So um, I was really excited just to be inside with a lot of people. The doors weren't accessible, but the door was super lightweight. I was able to kind of do it because you can see I can I'm kind of doing this one-handed now, which is a little interesting because I'm using it for support, but at the same time I'm having to push and steer so it's like I'm expending energy to do it this way. And of course I'm holding the the, the camera to film this. It is a beautiful day out and I'm just I'm really excited to be out and about and um, a woman assisted with the door on the way out of Spot Coffee, and so we had a very brief conversation. That was nice to have that um, ability to communicate with other people in the community because I spend all of my time stuck inside just making these videos <laughs> as a way of communicating, or I'm on social media and communicating with my friends who live far away from me. Um, um, I'm about ready to go over a grate and it's a little challenging so uh, and just ahead is the park where the people in the event are so I'm going to sign off for now. I just want to remind everyone why we're here today. 96 Americans are killed by gun violence every day. Seven children and teens are killed every day by gun violence. 50 women are shot per month by intimate partners. It's a known fact that common sense public safety laws reduce gun violence and save lives. I'm soon going to be going back inside, uh, back to my home. I was just really excited to, to be out and about in the sunshine today. I didn't really get a lot of like sit in the sun sort of activity. I was more trying to be present for the event. I'm surprised that I'm actually doing as well as I am, but I think it's, it's really cold out, like my fingers are freezing. So cold weather tends to have less of the weakness. And my core, because um, I'm wearing a lot of layers, is warmed up enough that I'm not really feeling too much pain. So it turned out to be a great day and I'm really surprised that I had a great day today. So it was pleasantly unexpected. Tomorrow there is a 
event in the park. It would be great if I could go, but who knows? So we'll see. I am back home with Jeffrey. Hi. And hi, mister. Oh my goodness. He's a happy, happy cat. So uh, it was really good to be out and about in the community earlier. I know I probably said that already, but, um, you know, <laughs> it was just great. And I wish I had been able to really take a little bit more time in the, in the sun. But uh, I did get a little, probably a little bit. So that's nice. Um, I always appreciate that. It helps my vitamin D levels. And yeah, so anyhow, um... Now that I'm here at home, I'm thinking that it's really great that I'm wearing clothes, but <laughs> I'm really thinking I want to um, sit in the comfy chair and uh, rest for a little bit. So, But it was a great day. I'm glad that I got to get out and about and be in support of the event. Um, you know, it's hard for me because when I show up at events, a lot of the times I really want to be like helping out and participating behind the scenes and oftentimes that's what I used to do that's kind of how I roll is like hey what can I help you with and um, do things behind the scenes and like set up and take care of things and I can't really do that anymore so um, so that was a little different just kind of like hanging around and, and I, I guess I wasn't trying to really watch other people because I, I think I would have felt really sad about the fact that I was watching, but um, yeah, I mean, it. I've known for a long time I haven't been able to really uh, assist in that way, so I guess that I've kind of come to an acceptance with, but it's not my preferred way of being in the world, if you know what I'm saying, so yeah, it's time for rest. <laughs>